What up guys? I'm currently on my way to get my four wisdom teeth pulled. Not too excited about it. It's killing my wallet. Um, my sister's TDing for today. And yeah, let's see how it goes. It's the Sonata right there. So I just got done getting all my teeth removed. Um, it was honestly not awesome. It was pretty miserable. Um, I was supposed to be sedated, but apparently I was too tolerant to it. She had to give me 40 milligrams of Valium and um, 200 micrograms of fentanyl, which is used for gallbladder removal and a couple other procedures. So she told me it was just, my tolerance was too high and that I was too big, I guess. But um, yeah, for those who told me that was gonna be easy, it was not fun. I felt a lot of pain, but yeah. See how the next couple days go. So I just got done taking a really long nap. As you can tell, I'm pretty swollen and the inside of my mouth is still bloody. My doctor gave me some Percocet for my pain, which I definitely need. Some Zofran, which is for nausea and vomiting, which fortunately I have not had to use yet, and I hope I don't. And some special oral rinse. I'm going to go ice my cheeks a little bit so I can get the swelling down and see how it goes. It's day two, and I'm super swollen today. I haven't eaten in 36 hours because I haven't had an appetite, but I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to give it a go. Got some chuk, which is Korean rice porridge. There'd usually be some meat and vegetables, but I can't eat solids yet. Got some haagen vanilla raspberry swirl ice cream, some haagen coffee ice cream, and some Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia, which is my personal favorite. But I don't know if I can eat this yet because it has chunks of chocolate and cherries in it. And I have some Jello. So yeah, I need to continue icing these because I look like a chipmunk and I honestly don't know how long I'm gonna last without solid food. But we'll see. Yum, plain pho broth. No noodles, no meat, no vegetables, just broth. Yum, bloody gauze from my mouth. It's day three and I'm still pretty swollen, um, but the bleeding stopped, so that's good. I'm still on Percocet because it still hurts a lot. Um, but I'm just sitting here watching the Hawks play, eating some haagen coffee ice cream, you know, living the life. And there we go. We just scored. Let's go. Currently at the grocery store, trying to pick up a couple more things that I can actually eat. Got some more ice cream, some pudding, some yogurt, some applesauce, a couple smoothies. Should keep me afloat for a little bit. It's day five and I'm still pretty swollen. And I actually went into work today, but I'm leaving a couple hours early because the pain was getting to me and I was just completely out of it. Um, I'm gonna go home, take a Percocet and probably just knock out. I was gonna hit the gym today, but that is probably not happening. This recovery process is taking a lot longer than I had imagined. My lunch for today is some Greek yogurt and some applesauce. Super sad. Needed some more sustenance, so I'm gonna try some salmon chowder. It's day six, and I'm still a little bit swollen, still in a little bit of pain, but I actually made it all the way through work today. Um, I feel a lot better than I have in the past couple days. And I've been having gym withdrawals, so I'm actually at the gym, about to get a light workout in. And I'm actually gonna try to get some solid food in tonight. Um, probably nothing too heavy, but we'll see how it goes. About to try and eat some solid food at Red Robin. Gonna give a burger and some fries a go. We'll see how it goes. It's day seven. I'm still a little bit swollen and in still a little bit of pain, but I think I'm getting sick on top of it. Um, my immune system has gotten super weak, I'm sure, because I haven't had the proper nutrients and haven't been able to eat solid food. So I'm just gonna try to sleep it off and we'll see how it goes. It's day eight and now I officially feel like I'm actually healing. Um, my gums are still a little bit sore. I still have a little bit of swelling left, 
um, but the pain's almost fully gone, and now I feel like I'm actually recovering. It's day 10, I didn't have time to vlog yesterday, but I am back to eating solid foods, which is awesome, except I keep getting food stuck in the holes, and I have to keep rinsing all day, pretty much. Um, so I'm hoping they give me a syringe tomorrow at my follow-up appointment, and I'm hoping my oral surgeon tells me that my recovery is going well, which I think it is. Um, I'm still a little bit swollen, and I still feel pain here and there, but it's a lot better than it has been. And I'm active again. Um, I'm back at the gym, and I've been playing some flag football, so it feels really good to be back. And I feel like the recovery is going really well, but we'll see. What up? So I finally got a syringe. My oral surgeon said that my holes are already closing up, and she said that's really fast for how deep my teeth had been. And she said my overall recovery and healing process is going a lot faster than she expected, which is awesome to hear, because that first week was just all bad. And the day of removal was terrible, as you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, she said I should be back to normal here in a week or two, so that's good to hear. But let me hear your wisdom teeth removal stories. Um, I've heard a lot of bad ones. I've heard a lot of good ones. Let me know how yours went in the comment section below. And yeah, let's just share some stories. Till next time, peace. Yeah. Oh.